Okay, so I usually don't like to perpetuate the whole, you know, global shaft meme, because in general, I think that Bandai does treat global pretty fairly, especially in recent times. But if things stay the same for this Vegito right here, this is truly a massive shaft to global, especially because they got us so excited with the simultaneous release, right? Like, we're used to waiting so long for these collab units, and now they're finally giving it to us at the same time as JP. And they make literally the most hype unit, the most hype character out of the entire batch, significantly worse on the global side. Like, it just makes no sense to me. Okay, and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you. Okay, so here are the global Vegito details on the official Dokkan Twitter page. And, uh, you know, you look through it, you're like, oh, everything's good, you know, good passive, leader skill, super attack, all that good stuff. But his links, okay, his links are an issue. Now, overall, he has some pretty good links, actually, but he has Infighter. And you're like, okay, fine, one mediocre link, but overall, still a good link set. But the issue with this Infighter is that on JP, Infighter is actually Kamehameha, which is a much more common link. It's an overall much better link, let's be honest. And um, I just don't understand why they had to do this. It makes no sense to me. Like, maybe it's a mistake. Maybe they accidentally put Infighter instead of Kamehameha. But then you look at the categories and you realize that he's also not on the Kamehameha category. And he's also not on the Battle of Wits category. And on the JP version, on the JP Vegito, he's actually in both of those categories. So not only are we missing one of the better links in the game, and we got Infighter instead of Kamehameha, our version of Vegito also is missing two very good categories. Kamehameha, one of the best in the game for sure, and Battle of Wits. Why? What was the justification behind this? What was the reasoning? What were they thinking, man? Why would Bandai do this to us? Now, one thing that does give me a little bit of hope is this little note at the bottom of the screen here that says, please note that information such as character stats and abilities is subject to change without prior notice. Okay, so usually I don't really care about this, but please Bandai, just change this without any notice. Nobody would complain. We'd all be okay with it. Give the global Vegito, Kamehameha as a link, and Kamehameha as well as uh, Battle of Wits as categories, okay? Because the exclusion of those things just makes him so much, not so much worse, but definitely worse. Like just objectively worse than the JP version of this card. And just given how hype he is, how good he is of a unit, just why would you ruin it for us like that? Why, why would you do this? It's not cool. Bandai Spies, if you're watching, do something about it, okay? Change the character's abilities without prior notice, it's okay. Now, this is not the only thing that they changed from Global to JP. Uh, there's also a few typings that are different. So for the Super Saiyan 4 Broly, he's Extreme STR on Global. He's Extreme Tech on JP. Now, of course, this is not as big of a shaft, but Extreme Tech definitely needed the help more. So. The fact that he's not extreme tech on global is definitely still, in my opinion, a little bit of a shaft. Alright, and uh, for Debora, he's also a different type on global compared to JP. So he's extreme fizz here. On JP, he, I believe, is extreme AGL. Okay, and I don't mind that as much, but, you know, it's just, why? why? What's, the, what's the reason, right? Like, just keep it the same between both sides. Like, who wanted this? Right, did, did somebody on one of the player surveys after the Worldwide Celebration or the Download Celebration, or no, that's the same thing, um, or the Anniversary, say, yo, can you please, you know, do things more different on Global and JP, like give us different types for the same units, or give us different categories and link for, for the same units, because I don't know anybody that would say that, and it just doesn't make any sense. Okay, just doesn't make any sense, and, I went from like right up here to like super super hype or like super happy to now um, Pretty upset man pretty upset and I shouldn't feel this way. Okay. I should be happy I should be hyped right now, but instead I'm left wondering why Bandai hates global <laughs> Like let's be honest
<laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Why is this happening? Why would they do this? I mean, look, I'm still probably gonna summon because Super Saiyan 4, Vegito, Toa, all that stuff, and I don't, I don't think there's any other changes for the other units as far as categories, you know, links, categories, or uh, sorry, um, passives, or anything like that. Um, I think Vegito is the only one with these pretty significant changes. But once again, Vegito is definitely the most hype by far, so um, it is definitely the biggest shaft they could have given us. And you know what's also weird? I'm not 100% sure if uh, this is true, so take it with a grain of salt. But somebody told me that the Vegito in his SSR form apparently has Kamehameha as a link, but then in his uh, TUR form he loses it on global. Now once again, um, this could be a mistake. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers, I'm really hoping and praying that they make the necessary changes, make the correct changes, the appropriate changes, and you know, make our Vegito the exact same as the JP1. Because there's nothing wrong with the JP1, there's something wrong with the global one and uh something's gonna change man like this is just straight up not okay i went from complimenting the crap out of bandai in my last video just like talking about how great this you know crossover is like this is by far the best collab in the history of this game no question right because like the previous ones we've had like that one piece one was nothing right like even though it was a different uh franchise i was really happy about that uh we got like nothing from it so that was a crappy collab to say the least and then the Raleigh one was okay um but it was just like a few new units nothing too crazy either and then we've had like heroes collabs and stuff like that but um those units were just like okay to me like they were good but i was never super hyped like i am right now where i was before this revelation so uh yeah bad eye spice man I i'm pleading with you do something about this vegeto you can keep the type changes for Broly and Deborah if you really, if you really want to. Okay, like I'm not really that upset about it. It makes no sense to me still, but hey, if you if you gotta have that, then then keep it. But Vegito, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, like this is the one guy that you should just not touch. Okay, just leave him the same as the JP version for Global, and uh, we're good to go. Okay, so yeah, that's it, guys. Um. Definitely a global shaft, no question. If things stay the same, let me know in the comments down below how you guys, as global players, feel about it. Or if you're just a JP player, um, yo, let me know how you feel about it too, man. Like, do you think this is fair for global? I mean, I know you don't play the global side, but still, you gotta recognize it's not fair. It's not cool. Bandai, why, why do you hate us? Why would you do this? That's all I gotta say. All right, guys, thank you for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.